Hey everyone, my name is Aaron Chen and I'm a PGY2 at Northside Gwinnett in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Today, I'll be presenting a case on Sappho syndrome, which is a rare inflammatory disorder that stands for synovitis, acne, pustulosis, hyperostosis, and osteitis. By the end of this case, I hope you will be able to recognize the syndrome and the diagnostic criteria. There are no conflicts of interest in this case. This is a 29-year-old male with a remote history of chlamydia who presented with worsening symmetric polyarthralgia and acne. His bilateral polyarthralgias first started in his heels, then migrated to his ankles, knees, and elbows, and stated they were worse with lack of movement and at the end of the day. He denied risky sexual behaviors, drug use, and any family history of rheumatic disorders. On admission, his exam findings revealed multiple cystic pustules that can be seen here on his back, mandible, and neck region on figures 1 and 2. He also had tenderness to palpation in his elbows and knees. Initial labs revealed a leukocytosis of 22,000 as well as an elevated ESR and CRP. He was worked up for other autoimmune and infectious causes as well, which were all negative. Imaging revealed widespread sclerosis in the thoracic and lumbar vertebral body end plates, sternal manubrial joint, clavicles, and sarcoiliac joints. As you can see in these figures here, figure 3 demonstrates the thoracic spine showing widespread sclerosis, the radiopaque areas pointed out by the red arrow. Normally, you would expect these vertebral bodies to be radiolucent and dark, as seen in T1 to T3. However, as you come down, you start seeing the sclerosis more and more. It is most extensive at the T7 and T8 bodies, um, and extends down the thoracic and lumbar spine, especially at the edges of the end plates. This is highly unusual for a 29-year-old with no previous medical disease. In figure 4, I would like to highlight um, the widespread sclerosis seen in the sternomanubrial joint. In figure 5, this is a coronal view that will show the sclerosis of both of the heads of the clavicles. In figure 6, we will highlight the sarcoiliac joint, showing some narrowing and inflammation here, uh, more so worse in the left side, but also seen on the right side as well. Imaging done on his knees was also negative. Based on the imaging findings and presentation, the patient was diagnosed with Savo syndrome and discharged on NSAIDs and doxycycline in outpatient follow-up with the rheumatology for long-term management. Due to its rarity, the pathogenesis of Sappho syndrome is still not fully understood. It likely has a combination of genetic, environmental, and immunologic factors. One proposed hypothesis that combines all three of these is that the bacterial pathogens in Cutobacterium acnes causes the dysregulation of interleukin-1 and induces the inflammatory response to cause the widespread inflammation seen. Sappho syndrome is a clinical diagnosis and you often see anterior chest wall pain, sarcoiliitis, and cutaneous symptoms. Criteria includes isolated sterile hyperostosis or osteitis, or osteoarticular disease associated with conditions such as palmoplantar pustulosis, psoriasis vulgaris, severe acne, or inflammatory bowel disease in the absence of any other known causes. While lab values reveal nonspecific inflammatory marker elevation, radiographic changes can reveal the previously seen hyperostotic bone and scler sclerotic lesions. Further workup with bone scan can also reveal the pathognomonic bull's head sign in the sternomanubial uh, clavicular region. While there are no guidelines for therapy yet for Sappho syndrome, first-line therapy starts with NSAIDs, then other medications including antibiotics, methotrexate, bisphosphonates, biologics, retinoids, and other immune and gene therapies that require further studies and data. In conclusion, in patients who present with worsening acne and po symmetric polyarthralgia with widespread sclerosis seen on imaging in an otherwise young and healthy person, it is important to consider and recognize Sappho syndrome as a diagnosis and treat with NSAIDs and other therapies. Thank you.